going to show you three super cool vocal effects pro producers use. I'm going to show you what they are, how to do them, and let's go. Here's number one. I'm going to show you how I took this vocal here, I'm going to show you, and make it a lot more interesting. So notice that we have between this vocal, here's the vocal in question, we have all of this open space here between this vocal, roughly a bar. So I'm going to play this with absolutely no effects on, and then I'm going to show you what I did to make it more intriguing. We only get one shot to live. We only have one chance at this. Okay, so that's the vocal that we're talking about. So we, we only have one chance to live, and then there's nothing there. So this sounds pretty good, but my goal as a producer is to always try to find ways to make it, you know, 5% better or 10% better. So being a producer is not making a few decisions really well, it's about making a million small decisions well. So here's what I did. And so essentially what we're gonna do is make it so that with this empty space, we're gonna throw out a delay to then make it so that this kind of continues the vocal, but it's quieter and then it's processed slightly more differently. Now you can use literally any different delay plugin. You can use stock plugins in your DAW or you can use paid plugins like I did. In this case, I used Comeback Kid, which is a baby audio plugin. I've honestly been kind of obsessed with the baby audio stuff recently. And as you can see here, this is what we've got. I have this set as a half note delay. So I'm just gonna play this again and I'm gonna show you what I want it to do. We only get one shot to live, shot to live, shot to live. So that's pretty much what I want. Shot to live, shot to live. This is an effect that pretty much everyone knows what it is, it's just how do you actually do it. Alright, so I'm gonna pretty much start this entirely from scratch here. I'm just gonna duplicate this track. So I'm gonna start completely over, so I just copied the audio over to a new track, have it processed the exact same. We only get one shot to live. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and grab the effect that we actually want to use. So in this case, again, I'm going to use Baby Audio's Comeback Kid. What we need to do, first of all, is actually set the time of the delay. So right now it's automatically at a quarter note and you're going to see this is not what we want. Watch this. We only get we only one, get shot, one to shot to live. Obviously that's not what we want. So we're going to set this to a half note right here. All right, let's try that. We only get one shot, to, only live. Get one shot to live. All right, so that's the correct the rhythm. Now the problem is, is that we don't want it to be like overlapping on top of itself like that. We want it to be happening only on a very specific phrase. So I'm gonna have we only got one shot to live, shot to live, shot to live. We so we only want the phrase shot to live to happen. Shot to live, shot to live, shot to live. Just like that. I'm gonna show you how we're actually do that in a second. There are multiple different ways you could do this too. You could put this on the individual track like I'm doing, or you could actually use this on a bus as well. Either way is perfectly fine. Just depends on your workflow. But then what I wanna do is I wanna start actually shaping the actual delay. I don't want it to sound like just the exact same same thing coming at me. So I'm gonna increase some of this tape, a little bit of swirl, a little bit of sauce. I'm also gonna add a low cut, and I might even actually add a little bit of a high cut, and listen to what this does. It's pretty close. I'm gonna do a little wider. Shot to live, shot to live, shot to live. Shot All right, there we go. So now it kind of sounds tapey. It kind of sounds a little bit crunchy. That's how I want it. And then the wet out, I don't want this to be 100% out. I don't want it to be a little bit softer. Shot to live. That's probably pretty good right there. So roughly 50, but again, just use your ears. Now, in the case that you wanted to process this even more, like process the vocal, that's when you're gonna wanna actually use a bus. In this case, this is sounding good for me. All right, now that we actually have to talk about how to actually make it so it happens in time and it doesn't sound really messy and muddy. So here's how we do this. The very first thing is we're gonna turn our automation mode to latch. We're gonna turn the plugin off, so basically just bypass it. And then we're gonna play it and we're gonna turn it on on the moment that it happens, watch this. We only get one shot to live. Not to live. To live. Okay, now obviously that's not perfect. <laughs> so that's where you're gonna actually open up your automation and now we're gonna dial this in. We only get one shot to live. One shot to live. All right, there we go. Now let's try playing it in context and see how it sounds. Make sure you turn your automation mode back to read. We only get one shot to live. There we go. That is number one, here's number two. So let me show you how this sounds completely raw without the effects so you can see how much of a difference this effect is gonna make. Now the phrase that we're actually listening to is the phrase, this life. It's right here, this kind of isolated audio. So it's actually in the same portion of the song in verse two. So here's kind of leading into it. We only have one chance at this. This life, every second. So everything sucks up and is like hammers on this life. So obviously that sounds fine, but I really wanted to suck it up like it does in the instrumental to that phrase so it's really highlighted and I want to get it to sound really very different and unique. So what I did was take this vocal, we're gonna process it to sound like this instead. Sounds way more interesting. All right, so the very first thing that I did is actually added this here. This is the reversed vocal. 
and then that goes into it. So it's like this, this life. I'll talk about how I did that in just a second. So if we look at this vocal right here, the very first thing that we have on here is this pitch altering plugin. This is called Vocal Transformer. It is actually a stock plugin in Logic and I just used it because it's fast to use and easy. And all I did on this was make sure that the mix is set to 100% and then added formants. So this is what it sounds like without it. This life. Here's what it sounds like with it. This life. So that kind of pitches it up almost. Now this is not actually pitching it up, but adding formants is essentially gonna make it sound like it's actually pitched up. The next thing I did was used Effect Rack, which is from Sound Toys, and I have Decapitator and Micro Shift on here. And as you can see on Decapitator, I'm driving a lot. I'm driving very, very heavily. And then I changed the tone to be a little bit brighter. And then on Micro Shift, pretty much just slapped it on turn mix to 100% and that's it. So this is just with Decapitator. This life. So obviously, nice little crunchy distortion. And then once we add micro shift, this life. kind of adds a little more beef to it. And then the last thing I did was I used spaced out, which is a reverb delay plugin, baby audio. I told you I'm obsessed with baby audio lately. And this is what it sounds like. This life. Just kind of gives this swirly kind of spacey thing and pretty much just made it really wet. Add a little bit of a ducker on that and a little bit of stardust is what they call it. And just, I don't even know what it does. It just sounds awesome. So basically what I did then is I took the main vocal and I duplicated it because you can see here it is the exact same vocal. Now, if you just duplicate it and then have it the same, it's not gonna work. This will not sound good. But what I did is you can see this little plus 12 right there. That's because I pitched it up an octave and now it sounds like this. This is So obviously it sounds kind of weird. That's kind of the point. And I added the exact same processing, vocal transformer, the effects rack, and then spaced out, and it sounds like this by itself. Hey yo. And then you put that with the main one, the octave down. Sounds pretty sweet. And then that final little sauce that we have is this reversed portion here. Now the way that we actually get this reversed one here is you would duplicate the main one that you have. So you can see here, I've now duplicated this. Let's just settle this out. And then what I'm gonna do is make sure that the spaced out plugin is like super wet. Okay, and now you can hear that reverb is just like really, really long. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to take this and we are going to bounce it down to audio. And we wanna make sure that we do not bypass the plugins. You wanna make sure you include the plugins. So Logic is now gonna go ahead and bounce this or commit it. So now it looks like this. So what we're gonna do is kind of go to the tail end of this, right, where it has life, where there's no transient. In other words, I'm not actually saying a phrase. So like this. So now it's got that, like the reverby kind of spatial element here. And then we're just gonna kind of go back here and arbitrarily cut it. And then we're gonna go to region and then we're gonna reverse this. And just by that, we now have this reversed element. And then we're gonna have it lead right into the vocal. Now we wanna be careful that we don't make this too long. Like this is gonna be way, way too long. Watch this. We only have one chance at this. That's too long. So you can see here, I kind of cut about there and then you could add a nice old fade. One chance at this. And then now, to get that entire effect all together, recreated, here we go. We only have one chance at this. hey -o. So to me, this sounds way more interesting, and I know that might not be a creative decision that you personally like in this specific application, but there are so many different ways that you can actually use this. Before we hit number three, I do wanna let you know that I just got done releasing an incredible workshop that's free, where I cover pretty much start to finish how I'm able to produce professional quality music in my home studio. I have a link in the description for you to check out, but wait till the end of this video to do so. I cover the exact production roadmap that I follow every single track. All right, so this is number three, and this one is not like one trick. This is just like an entire way of processing vocals, and it's really kind of crazy. And let me just start by saying you do not want to process your vocals this way the entire way through. I'm doing this only in a very small section of the track and then I end up not processing it this way for the rest of the track. I'm using it as a very specific effect to give this very kind of crazy emotional feeling towards the vocals. So this is what the vocals sound like in the context of the track with none of the effects that we're going to be throwing in. There's no telling when the bug will bite. I've got a fever and the cure is limelight It's so contagious, better check your pulse So infectious you might lose your mind And then after this moment is when this, this particular process that I'm about to show you goes away and it goes back into more of a regular processing. So the very first thing that I did is I actually took the lead vocal and I duplicated it. You can see that this portal vox right here, this is the exact same audio as the main vocal. But what I ended up doing was processing it with a plugin called Portal by Output, which gives it this crazy 
effect. I actually made an entire video on this, on how I did this effect, but this is not the effect that I'm getting to. This is just to kind of put everything into context that it's actually multiple things that I'm doing. So this is what it sounds like by itself. So it's gonna give us this crazy thing. So this is what it sounds like now, just with that added. There's no telling when the bug will bite. I've got some da, 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 da. Kind of gives this cool rhythmic feeling, almost like a reverse delay, not reverse delay. It's crazy, it's cool. And you might also notice that I doubled these vocals or tripled them. There's the lead vocal in the middle. I have one hard left and then one hard left. Yes, you have to completely retract those doubles so there's no phasing problems. Okay, but let's actually take a look at what's happening on the bus. We've got all of this going on here. And the most important thing is the top, what's going on in the effect rack. Now you could do this with other plugins. I'm just using Sound Toys because I think it sounds really great. You can see here, I have three different things happening. Micro Shift, Phase Mistress, and Crystallizer. So what this is doing is giving us this crazy feeling, this crazy vibe where the vocals now feel phased. The vocals feel kind of like this weird, thick, kind of, sort of detuned element. And then also there's now a delay, this granular echo synthesizer, and that is gonna help sound crazy. So let's just kind of put this in one at a time. So the very first is Micro Shift. So let's just listen to what Micro Shift does. There's no telling when the bug will bite. I've got a fever and a key. So it's gonna kind of give it this almost like interesting tuning, makes it feel wider. And it, I don't know, it's a really cool plugin. The next one is Phase Mistress. And this is where we're gonna actually start getting all of that phasing sound happening. So telling when the bug will bite. I've got a fever and the cure is limelight. Sounds awesome. I'm sorry for the clicking. I don't know why there's clicking happening. And then the last thing that we did is added this crystallizer granular echo synthesizer. There's no telling when the bug will bite. I've got a fever and the cure is limelight. So basically what this is doing is giving us a quarter note delay. It's pretty subtle. It's kind of underwater, if you will. And I do have the ducker on a little bit so that the vocal is actually pushing this delay down. So it's only when the vocals stop, this delay kind of comes up in volume. Now, if you don't have the sound toy stuff, you can still do pretty much all of this. Basically what you would need to do is use a phaser or a flanger or something like that to get this specific kind of vibe. And then you just want to be using something like a tape delay or maybe even a stereo delay. And there are many different ways of doing that with different delays. This is just the particular ones that I chose to use. So what I want to do is show you what this now sounds like in the context of the entire track. And the other thing I want to do is show you what this sounds like when the second set of vocals come in after this. So you can really hear the context. This is the moment that we were just looking at, and then this is the moment that it then goes into. It's really important that you hear how we transition from this type of a processing into the next one. There's no telling when the bug will bite. I've got a fever and the cure is limelight. It's so contagious, better check your pulse. So infectious, you might Here we go. So the reason I'm showing you that is because once we get out of this processing, it actually brings context to the whole thing. So when you're doing something like this, you have to be very, very cautious that you do not overdo it. Do everything with the reason. Think through, what am I trying to accomplish with this particular thing? and then get after it. So like I said earlier, we just launched a brand new free workshop. I have a link right here or it's in the description down below. It's totally free. You're gonna get a ton of value out of it. We'll see you in the next video.